Hey guys, this is Aeris Cheese God. I've been gone for a few days, as many of you probably noticed if you're a huge fan of me. So if you if you weren't wondering where I was, then uh, shame on you, yo. If you follow my Instagram, you might know why I didn't film for a few days. On Instagram, I posted that you have to enjoy life the most by not staying at home and playing video games, but going outside and having fun instead. So I encourage all you guys to do that. I just did that for the last couple of days. Went out, had fun, did community service, helped other kids with disabilities, other things like that, you know, and just making my life feel better because when you help others, it feels better. When you're playing Asphalt 8, you don't feel that sense of joy of helping others. So I suggest you guys all go outside, enjoy the sunshine or the rain or whatever. I also want to mention that it's getting hard for me to reply to all comments on videos because it's a lot, guys. You guys are posting like 600 comments in just a few days and that's really hard for me to look at. It takes several hours of time that I could spend helping out others. So I'll make a deal with you guys. The first day I drop this video, I'll answer most of the comments that were there the first day. But after that, I can't reply to anyone. And I'm not saying I don't want to help you guys out. But really, think of it from my perspective. Like, it's time, guys. It takes a lot of time. In case you were wondering for shoutouts, yes, I am keeping shoutouts. Don't worry about that. I'm not doing any shoutouts for this video because I don't want to make this video overly long. I just want to show you guys the content and we've already talked for a long time. So let's just get straight into our video of the best Ferrari cars in Asphalt 8. Ferrari, a luxurious brand of supercars that, well, most of us can't afford, much alike Lamborghinis and McLarens. These cars are legendary, and even though I find most of them not as stunning or beautiful as Lamborghinis, I still think they have a specific style to it that I absolutely love. In Asphalt 8, Ferrari is one of the most popular brands in the game with so, so many cars. Here, I'll show you all the cars. As you can see, there are a lot, but most of these cars honestly do not do so well in the game and are not kings of the game, and some of them really are terrible. But there are a few that are really good, so I have chosen those. Keep in mind this is opinion based, but let's get straight to the video. At the number 5 spot, we have the Ferrari F12 Berlin Netta. It is actually one of 9 original Class A cars in the Asphalt 8 game, so it's been here for a long, long time. Its tuning kit is not that much, it's only 33 points, but that's not bad at all. Its acceleration is above average, it has a high nitro stat, and it has pretty good acceleration. Its top speed, on the other hand, is a little bit low. However, I think this car is quite good because it is a cheap, cheap price at 125,000 credits, which is not that much, you know? So I think this car is pretty good, and I think it deserves a mention, and it is our number 5 spot. To keep in mind, however, this car has 4 Pro Kit levels instead of 5, because it is one of those lower ranked cars, so it has fewer Pro Kit levels. Still, I like this car, and I hope you guys can see why this car can make it to the number 5 list. At our number 4 spot, this might surprise you guys, it is the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso. It was the first car added in the Car Blueprints update, and it is a very good Class B car. It is the only elite Ferrari car in the game. With a tuning kit of 38 points, this car rivals all sorts of cars including Class B Kings like the Mercedes AMG GT3, and it even rivals the W Motors Lycan Hypersport in Class S, which is kinda cool. This car, I mean, it's an elite car, so many people kind of hate it because you can only use it a few times. And it's not that great for multiplayer, but this car dominates in events a lot in Class B events. Especially those involving Tokyo, where its nitro efficiency is a top priority. It has super good nitro efficiency. However, on tracks, on shorter tracks, the GT4 Lusso is faster than the MP4 8, but it still isn't faster than the AMG GT3 because it has a uh, not very good drifting radius. Still, it is a pretty good car if you want it. For 3,400 tokens, you can get this car, and I wouldn't not suggest it, except there are other Class B Kings that cost credits, like the Mercedes AMG GT3, which can beat it. So it's up to you guys. If you want to spend your tokens on this car, go ahead. Our number three spot might also surprise some people, but just to let you know, a lot of Ferrari cars are bad, like the Ferrari Scagulletti, and Ferrari FXX Evolution, it has really bad nitro efficiency and its top speed is fake speed. So at our number 3 spot, yes, it is the Ferrari La Ferrari. The Ferrari 
LaFerrari features an excellent launch and acceleration, and it's lightweight. It has very good handling and drifting capabilities, and a very good nitro efficiency of 61216. If you don't know what that means, check out my nitro efficient cars video, and that will further explain what 612 and 16 means. However, the LaFerrari is at a dis is at a disadvantage with its lower top speed, and its total speed is not that great. It goes 279.5 miles an hour. However, this car is cheap at only 350,000 credits to purchase. It only costs less than 600,000 credits to max and pro out. And in its mastery, it rewards you with a champion kit box, which is worth 950 tokens. And, you know, so pro cars, like, champion boxes really help. So I think it's worth it, and that makes our number three spot. I hope this number two spot is not very shocking. At our number two spot, we have the Ferrari 330 P4. It was the last vehicle added in the March 2015 decals update, so it's a pretty old car. Now this car, it's a classic, and it is a very good car. Even though it has been surpassed by other cars like the McLaren Mercedes MP425, it's super good. It has a nice tuning kit of 43 points, and its acceleration is as fast as the Mazda RX-8. Its handling and drifting is magnificent, even though it's not the best, and this car has no disadvantage whatsoever. It's a really, really good car. And here's a fact, it can actually beat the Chevy Camaro 2016 SS and the Devil 16 prototype on curvy tracks because it is super good. This car, another fact, it was very famous for just doing weird stuff on tracks, randomly stunting and wrecking for no reason. Like this following clip is an example where it just did random two barrel rolls on the ramp. Like what, that never happens. But that was fixed um, a couple of years ago, so that's, that's fixed already. This car has been super cited by other cars like the McLaren 675 LT, but it's still a nice car and it is the second best Ferrari, so in Ferrari only events, this car really is really good. As always, I want you guys to guess the number one spot and put it in the comment section below. And alright guys, I mentioned in one of my videos that I actually got pulled over by a cop and that cop was super super friendly and actually gave me a tour of the inside of the car, so here's a clip. This is insane. <laughs> Check out the back seat too. Oh my god! Just to let you guys know, that gun is an AR-15, which is a super, super cool gun. Guys, this is insane. Wow. At our number one spot, we have the Ferrari Enzo Ferrari. Hope that was easy to guess, but this car is used in so many of the Asphalt games. It was used in Asphalt 4, Asphalt 6, Asphalt Injection, Asphalt 7. And in Asphalt 8, it's probably going to be in Asphalt 9 because it is a classic Ferrari. Super good car because it was known to have one of the biggest tuning kits in Class S. It actually had a tuning kit of 47 points, which is quite a bit, especially for Class S. The Ferrari Enzo Ferrari's acceleration is very, very, very fast. Its drifting is the best in its class. Well, it, it was the best in its class until the W Motors Fender Super Sport came out. Its top speed is lower than most other cars, yet it manages a huge, a pretty good speed of 305 miles an hour with a tuning kit. Its main advantage over most class S cars is its speed modification, which is only 97%, so that's pretty close to 100%. If you don't understand speed modification, check out my fake speed video and you guys will further understand that. Its nitro efficiency is not that good. But since its fast acceleration is super good, it makes up for the nitro efficiency of 9, 14, and 19. The car also costs credits, which is super, super cool. It's, it's one of those classes cars that cost credits, so you should buy it if you can. Thank you guys for listening to that video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I will try to do as much as I can. I have a lot of stuff to do, okay? And um, hopefully I can make a vlog soon, because I have some pretty exciting stuff that I want to show you guys if I can. But we shall see. Um, thank you for so many subscribers, guys. It's awesome. We're almost at 3,600, which is lit. And we are the cheesy champs. We always stay lit. We are the kings of Asphalt 8. No, we're not. Actually, no. This channel is terrible. But anyways, thanks for listening, guys. Much appreciated. And I hope I can make videos soon. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye, cheesy champs. Peace. Make sure to subscribe and like. Thank you.